sich nicht verstecken. You saved many lives by killing that informant, Sean. The people of my flock are grateful for your help. A man who would sell his neighbors to the Gestapo deserves a hole in his head. A year ago, I might have disagreed with you. But these old eyes of mine have seen too much. What's next, Father? I spoke with the Gestapo officer who recruited the man you killed. What? Why? I told him I had information about certain... Uh, Undesirables hiding in my neighborhood. A list of names and hiding places. I offered to bring it to his office. But you plan to deliver another sort of present instead, don't you, Father? Indeed I do. I hear you used to drive cars for a living. Aye. And fix them too. I need a wheel man. Someone who knows these streets and isn't afraid to face the Nazis on their own terms. Then you've come to the right place, Father. I'm in. We are going to need a car. The faster, the better. Come on, then. I'll get us some wheels. Er kann sich nicht ewig verstecken. Top of the morning to you. Or whatever time it is. You're worried they won't let you in the place. These Gestapo officers think I'm a joke. An old wino priest, peddling secrets for liquor money. They probably won't even bother searching my back. Either way, I will see them in hell. You're a tough old bastard, Father. I'll give you that. Thank you, my son. Business. I am here to deliver the list of fugitives your commander requested. <laughs> I think you had better say a few Hail Marys, priest. Go on in. This won't take long. Good luck, Father.
Drive, Sean. Drive like the devil. Hang on, Father. This is a mandatory at all checkpoints. Failure to prevent public documentation will be severely punished. The great pain weighs on your heart, Sean. I want you to know I am here for you. Would you like me to hear your confession? No, thank you, Father. My pain isn't a burden that needs to be lifted. It's the fire that keeps me warm. I hear Bauer won't be feeding any more hands to his prized Dobermans. Why? But the dogs may be feeding on him. You are a hard man, Devlin. These are hard times. Yes, they are. Especially for those of us without a country to come home to. Like the men I left in North Africa. The French army fights for the Nazis now. Not all of it. Some of us refuse to surrender. Right now, the Free French forces are fighting in the desert. But they cannot hold out much longer. What's this got to do with me? A Libyan ambassador has come to Bari to broker a deal with the German army. If he succeeds, my men in Africa will be doomed. You want me to cut his trip short? <laughs> Nothing sours diplomatic relations like a murdered ambassador. I'll handle it. The ambassador will rendezvous with a German official near the Place de Vosges. Security will be tight at ground level. But you should be able to find a vantage point among the rooftops. Sounds like I'll need some long-range firepower. I have already made arrangements. You will meet one of my men at an abandoned chemical factory near the target. He'll have a special present for you. I can hardly wait to unwrap it. Cheers.
The hook said you had something for me. She's over there. My own design. She's as deadly as a scorpion. Her sting can stop a man's heart at 500 meters. Sounds like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> the Ambassador is a very paranoid man. Rumor has it he is traveling with a double. What? You mean a look-alike? We, oui. Maybe more than one. But the real Ambassador will be wearing a red armband. It was a gift from the Fuhrer himself. Right. Or maybe I'll kill them all just to be on the safe side. Fuck is this, Balax? This bastard does have a double. Make that a triple. It's a fucking convention down there. Mist! He had a Waffe! Stirb! The shooting started. There's the dying bastard. One shot is all I need. Ah, the red stuff's supposed to stay on the inside. Ah! 